Now look, um, before we do anything else, being in business is no easy task. It's something we talk about quite often on the show in one shape or another. For many though, you live and breathe your passion to make it work and, and make it as successful as it can possibly be. Rob Spence is the MD of uh, a company called Paragon Solutions. As well as that, he's a sales trainer, a sales coach, a sales consultant. There's no denying he plays a part at every level and Rob joined us now. You might remember him actually because he took part in the Jackson 5 last week. Morning Ben, how you, are you? You were a late shoe-in. I was very late. I think I got a message at 10 o'clock the night before. So no well, you did time very well. I can't remember what your time was but it was very good. It was under a minute. I think. Well, there I'm going to go for 59 seconds. Apparently, so. I'm giving from I'm giving an, an adjudication. It was exactly one minute. Oh, perfect. Which is so not great. too bad. No, not, not bad, bad at all. But it intrigued us because you were a sales consultant. So, and you were talking about ice cream, which you brought in. I you don't have, make yes. the ice cream. You don't design the ice cream. What you do do is sell the ice cream. Absolutely. Amongst I other things. Yeah. So I can't take any credit for this amazing ice cream. Um, so, so what we do is we take take on um, the sales for businesses of any size within Leicester or beyond. So what we recognise is that loads of businesses have a great idea, a great product, a great service, but a lot of people don't necessarily have the time to sell mm. or necessarily they don't have the skills to sell. So we step in and, and do that hard work, including the amazing Perbeck ice cream, which I bought some samples you for see, you. you. Stop the hard sell. <laughs> I've got a really sore throat today. I can't wait to try it. Now, Good. it was interesting because actually on Friday, uh, I went out with my um, uh, sister and a partner and R Rob and I were talking about sales because it's not something I've ever had to do. Mm -hmm. He loves it. He runs a business yep. and uh, he uh, his own business. So he says, I don't do as much selling as I used to do, but I really do enjoy it. And for him, it wasn't about the hard sell. It was about honestly saying, I see an, a thing and if I can provide a solution for it, I'll offer the solution. And if people want it, they have it. And if they don't, they don't. He said, but I'd love that making two things come together. Is that the way you see it? Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm just like you. Are. There's nothing worse than the hard sell for me. What, I'm a people person. I love to converse with people. I love to just have those interactions. And not only that, like yourself, a good salesperson is just a problem solver. We, we see a problem and we look to fix, you know, fill that gap. We look to solve it. And that's that's all I do. I just see things that I like, and I just think, okay, this needs to be pushed out, and we we find the ways to do it. You see, in a sense, you're also selling a service, aren't you, to the companies that you're part of? Because so often, small, medium-sized companies are brilliant at what they do, innovative, uh, creative, great places to work. But often, the person that designed that or created it isn't in sales. Absolutely, absolutely. And and skills, you know, sales is a skill. You need to have the right skill set to sell. And like I say, I converse with so many businesses who are really good at making this or really good at providing that. And that's what they want to do. That's their passion. That's why they went into business. To sell becomes a distraction. And that a lot of people don't like. Absolutely, absolutely. It can put people on the back foot. Some It, it takes... It takes the right kind of person and the right kind of practice, I think, to become really accustomed to sales and, and really find a passion for it, really. Where's the passion in it for you? Is it is it making the deal or...? or? Not necessarily. Of course, there is always that. But for me, it's just seeing the smile on at the end of the sale for both the person that's bought the product or service, but also for our client as well. If we see our clients do really well and see their sales increase, We've done our job, and that's that's the beauty of it, really. And does it? I mean, do you have to have a sort of some kind of synergy with the business? I mean, do you have to have an affinity for it? Absolutely, we really onboard ourselves with with the clients. So we've got a number of clients, and we will literally work out of their offices. I class ourselves as their employee, really. We go in, we learn all the ins and outs, when they were born, when they were founded, and become really onboarded with them. And when did say selling start for you? Really young. I was one of these that would acquire things from my parents' house and sell them on my driveway. Um, sorry, mum and dad. Um, and then I've just, throughout my years, mm. sold. You were, I think you were talk, you're talking about antiques later on, did I yeah. hear? You know, I used to go and buy and sell antiques from different auctions yeah. and sell them online. There's just something within me that just really enjoys it. The whole, the whole, just selling that service. Well, Absolutely, well. yeah. Now look, uh, if you were listening to the breakfast show this morning, I thought this was absolutely genius. Um, you'll have, have heard that AD and Joe were talking about accents. It, somebody's done a survey somewhere uh, that says that the East Midlands accent has the least is the least sexy in the country. Um, so AD asked the voice coach uh, Elspeth Morrison to help make his voice more sexy. This is the kind of this is the way it worked. Just, just stick some headphones on for a second. Yeah. Elspeth, right? I, if Absolutely. We, if you right, if somebody needs a voice coach, if somebody needs you know some accents, they ring you up. You are the lady. You're the queen of the voice, right? So 
I'm wondering, yeah. I'm going to set you a little challenge. Can yeah, you, t- because I'm obviously right down the bottom with my Leicester accent down here. I want you to try and teach me, if you can, Elspeth, to teach me yes. a sexy accent very quickly. Oh. And give me a line, something sexy okay. to say. Um, okay, so what I'm going to get you to do, for, you're going to use your own accent, but what you're going to do is you're going to lean into the microphone a little more. Okay. And you're going to add a little bit of breath to your voice. And you're going to, so what, what so it's like, advertising if you've heard that famous store it says this is not just oh yeah food. i know this is I know. this is a certain sort of food from a certain store which we can't say because we're the bbc but um <laughs> but if you drop your tone a little bit and come into the microphone and say i don't know what would you be set what oh, do you fancy no. selling sausage what rolls or pork pies let's do pork pies because it's easy <laughs> that's that's like that's better than sausage rolls isn't it or walker's pork crisps pies. <laughs> they're quite sexy they're um, sexy um they're sexy um um <laughs> come and eat my delicious pork pies blimey wow i was perfectly making try, me feel try. a bit funny yeah like, yeah right okay then right okay i'm leaning into the mouth Wait, there, no, we've got to try... Right, OK, Elspeth, listen to this, right? That's it. Right, Elspeth, you go first. You do the delicious pork pies. Come and try my... Oh, actually, let me be more me. Hang on, hang on. Come and try my delicious pork pies. Oh, that was a good one. Joe, your go. <laughs> Come and try my delicious <laughs> pork pies. Well, that's made me feel a bit funny as well. OK, I'm going to have a go now. Come and try my delicious pork pies. I'd buy them, wouldn't you? That was even better. (laughs) That was even better. You've got to commit to it. You've got to commit to that, you know, that I'm doing this. Now, one of the things about a man's voice, it can sometimes sound a bit stalky, you know, a little bit scary and a little bit spooky. (laughs) But you actually sounded quite saucy with it, Daisy. And Joe sounded marvellous. So, there we go. We love you, Elsa. Ben, you've got to have a go as well now. Come and try my delicious pork pies. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh now. Oh, well. It's a, I mean, that was great on The Breakfast Show. I loved it. That was hilarious. It's interesting hearing Elspeth, the way that, that uh, you know, that, that whole way of selling stuff. Do you use those kind of things or not? It, it just happens naturally. I think when you become that practised, you know, it's all about the tone of your voice, the pace of your voice. As you're an expert in it, you've been doing this for many years. It's... Thanks for pointing that out. Well, <laughs> I'll make it up with ice cream later, Good, don't excellent. worry. Um, yeah, it's, it's just how you present your voice and your tone and your, your, your body language as well. So. And, and I suppose that there's a, the, the, the people are cannier than they used to be now. You know, they, they, they can spot, in many cases, a snake oil salesman a mile off, can't they? Oh, massively. And that is one of the reasons why, so part of the job I, I do is I teach people how to sell mm. and, and offer sales training. And the reason I do it is because I, I generally hate salespeople. I hate, uh, <laughs> with, with all due respect to all of us out there, I'm, I'm part of the gang, really. But... I hate the hard sell. I hate this, you know, this kind of p- over pushy. And you don't need to be. We we live in a marketplace where, like I say, people are becoming clued up to these marketing techniques, these sales techniques. But really, what people want to have is just a relationship where you can converse with someone, find the solution to the problem, and the sale is made. Talk me through this ice cream briefly. Of course. Without selling it too much because we are the BBC. Of course, I won't mention any But it's, in, no, it's interesting that I mean, you, you have nothing to do with ice cream and this is one of the products you're selling. Absolutely. So my background is fine food. I was a sales manager for a fine food right. distributor. And I used to sell this for that company and I fell in love. And it wasn't just the product I fell in love with. It was, it was everything that they stand for. Really beautiful farm just overlooking Corfe Castle down in Dorset. Have you ever been yourself, no, Ben? Or? no. No, it's a really gorgeous down there. I do, I do urge you to go. It's beautiful, and really small family setup. I don't think there's any more than twenty employees, and yet the ice cream is just—you won't be able to eat any other ice cream again without after you've eaten. So you just dropped your voice as well. Then I just noticed. Oh, did I? Mm. It's not just any ice cream. <laughs> Rob, it's lovely to meet you. Well, can we try some? Of course, yes. Uh, and this is because you were at. Uh, it's not just a corner shop last week. That was the. That was the point. And because the, they sell. I mean, there's an astonishing shop. They sell. It's just a fine food place, isn't it? Uh, incredible shop. Great atmosphere in there. Really good local community. And these are available in there. Um, Support some beautiful flavours. Go on, run me through the flavours. Just Support some clotted cream, honeycomb hash, <gasps> salted caramel. Now this is my favourite. So it's it's for kids, but for big kids like myself. Yeah. It's called Digosaurus. Oh, I love it. Now within here, because obviously they're all part. Um, we've also been on the Jurassic Coast. 
You got a vanilla bean ice cream thank with a think. chocolate dinosaur in there. Rob, thank you. You're, you're more than today. welcome. You're so, oh, my producer's having. You're, you're having that one. I, I was going to have bags of this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming in, Rob. It's great thank to you be very much. Thank you.